Okay, so these are the disinfectant properties. First and foremost, we would like for a disinfectant to be able to destroy pathogen, okay, uh, those um, bacteria that give you disease, okay, uh, within a practicable period of time. We, should, we don't want, if let's say we have a, a certain disinfectant, okay, we don't want it to be, uh, it, it can kill bacteria, it can kill pathogenic microorganism, but it takes so long, so we don't want that. We want it to uh, to have a disinfectant that can kill very very fast, okay? And we don't. Uh, and then another properties of disinfectant that uh, is also important is it must have no negative effect, okay? We don't want to have a, a material or a thing or or an element that can disinfect uh, bacteria, pathogenic microorganism, but not only is it is uh, it can kill bacteria, it also can kill us. Okay, perhaps it is very toxic. It ha it contains some radioactivity that may be dangerous to us. So we don't want any negative effects towards us. Okay, and we don't want it to have uh, to change the water properties. Let's say you add something into the water, which is in normal form, would be in liquid, but suddenly it change into a uh, vapor or Coming solids or something like that. So we don't want that. Okay. We don't want anything that being added to water and change the property of the water. And then we would like to have a residual uh, residual in the water. Okay? What it means is if you add certain disinfectant in water, okay, we want it to be present so that it can protect the water. You know, uh, you are you are treating water in water treatment plant. Um, so after we treat the water, we want the water, uh, we will um, send the water to the residential area. So the water will be traveling along the piping system. And then we want to have a little bit of disinfectant inside of the um, piping system so that it can protect the water. Imagine if the, uh, there is a leakage on the piping system, so there are animals droppings okay goes inside the water okay so it will um, contaminate the water with pathogens so if there is no residual of a disinfectant inside that piping so it will no longer protect the human okay that, uh, that are using the water so that's why it is uh, extremely important to have uh, some residual of the disinfectant in our piping system in the water itself okay right easily determined in the treated water also is important okay we want something that we can simply make a simple test to check whether the, the disinfectant present in the water or not and then it would be very lovely if we have we can have a reasonable cost of disinfectant we do not want it to be very expensive okay it is really nice to have a very cheap uh, material yet it can disinfect very well okay and then certainly we want uh, to have a disinfectant that is safe and easy to store, easy to transport, easy to handle, and easy to apply into the water system. So these are very important points okay, for us to consider to choose a disinfectant, okay? A good properties of disinfectant, if you like.